Our Joel Hillen is live at Mile High tonight, and Joel, the loss of Pat Bowen being felt across Broncos country. Yeah, and Mike, as folks woke up and heard the news, they were looking for a place to congregate where they could come and pay respects to their late Broncos owner. So naturally, they came here to remember the man who loved the NFL, loved the Denver Broncos, and loved winning Super Bowls. Pain, sadness, just memories, how great he was, how great he is. James Chavez has been attending Broncos games as the Orange Vader for 15 years. We just give uh, my high salute to Pat Bowen. We love him, and it's real hard right now. We just want to miss him. He and his wife came to the statue in front of Broncos Stadium to remember and honor Mr. B. How he just put everything that he had and his wisdom into this this great team that he uh, gave us. I'm going to continue to pray, pray for a cure so nobody has to ever go through this again. Isabel Chavez is a CNA and cares for those suffering with dementia and Alzheimer's, the same disease that would slowly rob the world of the late Broncos owner. It's the worst thing in the world to know that your loved one is suffering. They're still there, but they're not. And it's just the hardest thing on a family member to see that. As they pray for the Bolin family, Isabel and James struggle with how best to reconcile the loss of a giant and at the same time move forward, honoring his legacy. He was a huge part of Bronco country. He was Bronco country. Yeah. So it's yeah. uh, going to be kind of sad. Just look up and know he's not there with us anymore. Keep that orange and blue. That's what we do. Just keep rooting for the, for the Denver Broncos. You know, some of the fans we talked to today who came out said that they were surprised with just how emotional they got. It's hard to quantify what Pat Bolin meant to the team and to its fans. And Mike, it's hard to imagine the Denver Broncos without Pat Bolin. Yeah, he has certainly been a mainstay for this organization since he purchased it all the way back in 1984. Joel, thanks so much. Now, the team is planning a public tribute for Pat. That will happen on Tuesday at Broncos Stadium at Mile High. It'll happen in the club level. There will be historical pictures and memorabilia. Members of the Bolin family will be there as well to meet and greet with Broncos fans as they continue to mourn the loss of the team owner and continue to honor the life and legacy of Pat Bolin, who passed away late last night at the age of 75.